Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh here back with another Kansas City Chiefs related video and today I wanted to discuss uh, some more free agency news that has come out today and that is that former 49ers cornerback Kwan Williams will be visiting the Chiefs next week to discuss a possible signing. So let me start off by saying that Defensive back is definitely a need in free agency. Well, not even just in free agency, the offseason in general. Um, you know, most people think our defensive backfield is fine. I don't necessarily agree with that because, uh, well, first of all, that's assuming that you bring Bashad Breeland and Dan Sorensen back. However, there's no guarantee that they come back, and they played a majority of the snaps last year, and they're still free agents. So, by definition, the Chiefs have a hole at defensive back and um that's i mean they, they need and look they need a veteran defensive back as well like i expect them to probably go out and draft one as well whether that be safety or corner we'll just see what happens with the rest of free agency and decide from there but uh this team definitely needs needs a veteran defensive back it could be bashad Breeland again um they could i mean they could still bring him back uh Kwan williams like we're going to talk about in a second you know he's visiting the chiefs for a reason you know they need some defensive back depth and it never hurts so that would be the reason that they're bringing in Kwan williams you know right now the only two like legit cornerbacks that you have are sneed and Fenton uh, Ward was uh, tendered, uh, but he, you know, a team could still offer a team could still offer him, and uh, he could sign there. But they'd just be forced to give the Chiefs a second round pick. I don't see that happening. I think Ward will be back. But to be honest, I think Ward is better suited as a uh, third to fourth corner as opposed to your first or second. And uh, him. <sighs> Or, okay, so Rashad Fenton is more of your, you know, inside slot corner, uh, as well as Kwan Williams, who again we'll talk about in a minute here. Um, but uh, you know, Legarius Sneed, you know, actually Legarius Sneed played a lot in the slot too. But you know, he'll he'll probably start, you know, one of the outside spots, and then you have uh, Charvarius Ward, and I don't think Charvarius Ward should be playing in a, a starting role on the outside. Uh, but maybe the Chiefs think differently from me. I don't know. Uh, we can discuss that another day. Anyways, the Chiefs are bringing in K1 Williams, and I got to say, I'm really interested in this signing. Uh, so K1 Williams has been basically the main nickel cornerback for the 49ers for the past couple years, and apparently this guy was kind of, uh, just from what I've read, was kind of uh, Robert Saleh, who's now the head coach for the Jets. This guy was kind of uh, his like baby um, of the 49ers defense when he coached it because apparently uh, Saleh was the guy responsible for developing Kwan Williams into, you know, this really, really good nickel corner in his defense. And a lot of the, um, you know, kind of general consensus was Kwan Williams is going to go to the Jets who need defensive back help as well, although they need help everywhere. But that's besides the point. Uh, but, you know, the market's been pretty slow, not even just for Williams, but for cornerbacks in general. But uh, Kwan Williams, that's an interesting signing because he could be a uh, nickel cornerback. He's just general defensive back depth. He didn't have here by any means. Actually, only played eight games. Struggled a little bit with injuries, um, but he still had four passes defended, a forced fumble, two sacks, seventeen solo tackles, uh, five tackles for a loss, um, and two QB hits. So he's shown a willingness to tackle. They uh, like to use him blitzing a little bit, which is. Uh, you know, something you always love to hear among uh, defensive backs heading into Steve Spagnuolo's scheme. Steve Spagnuolo loves to blitz defensive backs, and it seems like Williams can do that. And if he only played eight games last year, might scare some people as uh, Williams is about to turn 30. But if you look at his uh, games played history, you know, last year he played 15 games, and then 14 the year before that, and 14 the year before that. So this year might have just been unlucky for him, but it doesn't seem like he has an extensive injury history by any means but this guy has been widely regarded as one of the best nickel cornerbacks in the nfl uh for some time so uh the chiefs adding him i definitely would be interested in that and uh would only increase my letter grade for brett veach this offseason also assuming that they signed melvin ingram who i also talked about in a prior video if you haven't already watched it i gave my thoughts on that but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say here. You know, I think this would be a really solid signing. Again, we just need defensive back depth. Uh, and Williams is a cornerback that you can put on the field and be comfortable with. Now, I don't know what this means for, you know, assuming he signs. I don't know what this means for someone like Bashad Breeland because 
I think Breland and Williams kind of play uh, different positions. Uh, they're, they're kind of different cornerbacks. Uh, Williams is only 5'9", 183 pounds. Uh, that's a little bit on the slider side. I think the Chiefs should, you know, they would like to add one more, like, bigger, more physical cornerback. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But for now, uh, I really am interested in this signing. And, uh, you know, visiting this week, you know, if everything goes right, I expect them to sign with the Chiefs. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to discuss that for a little bit. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like this signing? Uh, what do you think of Kwan Williams? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Uh, but that's all I got for this video today, guys. Make sure you uh, like the video so other people can find it. Uh, like I said, comment so uh, we can get a discussion going. But make sure you check out www.showmefootball.com for more. And check me out on Arrowhead Addict where I also write for the Chiefs. That's all I got for today, guys. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Peace.